Hi. So today how to write an office in Java in 30 days. Today we're going to speak about the spreadsheet. And this is day 4. So how to write a spreadsheet software in Java in one day. So just as we did for the word processor, we're going to create a new module, a new file type. To this file type we're going to associate the top component. And then with the sheet we're going to use tabs because sheets are mostly in uh, different tabs and within each tab we're going to add a jtable jtable is the main swing component to use to represent tables so we need to uh, get the data into these tables into these tables because there's more than one table and uh, then we should be able to edit the data and then we're going to see uh, see if we can support multiple file formats this time. So first start with a new module. We're going to call it spreadsheet, this module. So start out with that. If you want more details, uh, I've also done it for the word processor, so you can watch the video of yesterday. Then we're going to need the template. So the first template will be with the extension Excel Exis, which is the Office format 2007-2010. Um, then we're still going to have a top component now, which just uh, do the same as an editor. Then we associate the APIs that you co we're going to use. So for all the spreadsheet, we're going to use Apache Poi, which is uh, the library I took earlier. Um, and it's a uh, quite good support normally for uh, Excel format. So now how to load uh, a document. Now we need to do the implementation and load the, the, the document. So if you have a workbook factory and then you just need to uh, give the file to it and it will create for you a workbook which contains the data of your spreadsheet. Then uh, we need also to save uh, if we edit uh, the spreadsheet. So save is done by cookies in, uh, in the NetBeans platform. So we just implement the save cookie and implement the save method, which is um, basically workbook. You have a write method where you can write to an output stream. Notice that we're already using the Java 7 uh, try uh, close uh, feature which uh, prevent us from calling the close on output stream. Now, instead of using directly a jtable in our top component, in our top component, we're going to add a jtape pane. So the jtape pane is, well, basically the, the tabs that you can see and you can, in each tab, add another component. So here we're going to create one tab Per, um, per sheet and then just look from it. So at the beginning we have just, you can see here at, probably here at the bottom left, we have sheet one and the table hasn't been added to it. So just had a table in it. So now we have, so this is a, a small hello world example. It has just one sheet that we can see at the bottom. It has a table and there's still no data. So we need to create a table model. This table model will look into the uh, POI model, the workbook. And within the workbook, you have a sheet. Within yeah, the sheet, you have rows. And within rows, you have cells. So it's going to look in the corresponding sheet, which row are filled and which cell are filled in. And here we have another first result. You can see the test one uh, example with three values that you can find back uh, in our spreadsheet software. Now, so something that uh, spreadsheet also have, if I come back, you'll see that it not only have headers, it also have rows numbers. So here we need to add rows to a table. So you have different solutions that you can find. I think one of the maybe worst of it is that what people say is uh, just use the colon uh, 
zero, the first column, to put uh, the numbers in there. That the you will have problem with scaling. You will problem with index that you always have to shift to shift uh, of one, and so on. Actually, the uh, the J table is always added in a J scroll pane, and J scroll pane you can add the table headers at the top, but you can also associate with in a, within a J scroll pane a row header. So we're gonna do, do it this way, the correct way. So. If you want more details, you can look at the URL above on how to add row headers to a table. So now we need also to uh, edit the table. So basically, it's done in the table model. You have a method called set value at. You need to override this method, and then the data which is filled in from it, you need to get the cell from the Apache POI model and then fill, fill this data with the values that you've received. So here's what I do. And here you have to be careful whether it's an existing cell or a non existing cell because if you enter a new data in a new cell, then the cell does not exist yet. So you need to create a new cell and then to fill the data in it and then add the cell within the row and so on. And now we have so we are using here just a basic editor, which is a JTX field. Now I'm just editing one of the value. And you see the value has been edited. I'm adding also another cell and another cell within a new row. Now, so this is uh, the first support with the Excel axis. Now I also would like also to support the old XLS format, which is also quite popular within businesses. So this format is uh, the XLS format. It's uh, I think it's from Excel 97 and 2003 format. And it's a more binary format. Fortunately for, uh, for us, uh, Apache Point has a single interface for both format, the, the new format XLXS and the old format XLS. So I'm always going to write against this, these interfaces classes uh, to make sure that it will work with the new format as well as the old format. So, and here we are, just basically just, just add a new format. So here you need to be careful because in the package info you need to add template registrations with an S because you have more than one template registration there. Now we're going to do also a bit of styling uh, with our, our table. So basically styling is done with a cell renderer. So you need to associate with the table a cell renderer. The cell renderer then will read the data within the workbook and then from the workbook it will just get the cell. And the cell object has also a cell style object. Within this uh, cell style, you can get the attribute of the font, it, whether it's bold, italic, the colors, for, uh, foreground, background of the cell. You have to be a bit careful with the color because it will depend whether using the old or the new format. So, but for the other ways, you can get this attribute and then apply them to the cell renderer. The default cell renderer is a J label, so you can easily uh, manage the font of this label by setting set ball, cell italic, and so on. So here is the example of loading a table which contains different styles. Now another table, this one is the XLX, and it also has support, you see, for the different colors, like background and foreground. So here you have both documents, what is in uh, Excel X6. On the right side, on the left side, it's the XLS format. As you have said earlier, it has different ways to read colors, so it does not uh, always work with a new format. And then the last uh, thing is uh, basically uh, adding uh, the active sheet. You can get from the uh, POI model which, what was the uh, last selected sheet. And so here we need to, to, to notify 
when someone click on another tab that the active sheet has been changed. And when we start the application, we also not need to say to the tab from go directly to the active sheet. So if someone saves the document being on the second sheet in the spreadsheet, then it will start the application and go directly to the second sheet of the of the spreadsheet. So thank you for watching again. So this was day two and uh, how to write uh, spreadsheet software in one day. So hope you enjoyed the video and I invite you to also watch your other videos. Bye.